This is my bike, and today I want to show you more interesting with it in the world of friends. On the way. Have you ever noticed that paddling the bicycle is harder than riding a stand swing? Or wonder why you will make the bicycle move over? According to first law, you can say that an object in motion tends to stay in motion, an object at rest tends to stay at rest. So it means that things tend to keep on doing what they are doing. For example, when your bicycle is stopped, it stays stopped, and when it's going, it stays going. Without any acceleration, you will see my bike stop. What happened to my bike? Instructions effected on bicycle. In the 16th century, according to the father of modern physics, Galileo Galilei said, velocity and acceleration are effects of frictions. He also concluded that in the absence of frictions, a moving object will continue moving even if there is no force acting on it. In other words, it does not take a force to keep an object moving. It takes a force of friction to stop an object that is already moving. Well, let's back to our last questions. In the mathematical terms, Newton's second law says, Force is the product of mass time accelerations. The bigger the force, the quicker the accelerate. To accelerate the object, the force must be applied. For instance, the more mass you have, the more force you need to apply. So the more force you apply, the quicker the accelerations. In contrast, the more mass you have and the more mass your bicycle has, the more force you have to apply to to make the accelerate at the same rate. Anyway, let's back to our last questions. How will the bicycle move forward? Well, to understand about that, first, let us think about the bouncy ball when it gets dropped hit. Well, while the bouncy ball gets dropped hit, the ball is hit the floor. With the downward force, it's called action. And when the floor is acted by the same force but in the opposite way, it's called reactions. So, Newton's third law says, every action has an equal opposite reactions. Okay. So let's back to our bicycle. As well as our bicycle wheels being clockwise, the part of each tire touching the ground push back against the earth, and the ground also push forward with the same force. It causes your back bicycle wheel is pushing backward too. So all that made you going forward. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope this video could help you with your physics lessons. And during quarantine cursings by COVID-19, don't forget to wash your hands with soup or alcohol sanitizer. We are must well go outside. And this time, see ya. Goodbye.